Good morning everybody, so today new video, we're still in Bangladesh near Dhaka, like 30 minutes away from it I'm with the members of Judo Federation, just over here Hello. and someone over there Hello. and the one that helping me to go everywhere so just before going to the next judo place which is BK 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 SP SP Bangladesh Hello. Bangladesh yeah Kriya Shikha Pratishthan like you said Bangladesh Kriya Shikha Pratishthan okay and so which I believe is one of the best judo places of the country <clears throat> uh, we're now visiting a little bit first and we're at like very interesting point right now so what is this monument uh, name it's called national murders memorial in the national monument okay so the national martyr memorial monument because bangladesh had to fight in 1971 against pakistan to get the the freedom so they were massive massively helped by russia and india japanese and some other countries i guess yep. And so it was to face occupation, right? Occupation. Occupation for how many years, do you know? Um, maybe uh, still now is... Um... Don't go too fast, you're running away from the camera. So sometimes later I'm <laughs> talking about it. Okay. <laughs> so you can see the problem that we have also in uh, most places of India, since Bangladesh is close from India. We have that kind of smog all around, like pollution that is always staying and as you can see it's quite hard to see like very far away. take video of the judo but tomorrow we're going in Dhaka city to see historical places and stuff like um, this so I will mix that video of today with the video of tomorrow the national murder's memory is the national monument of Bangladesh right yes. uh, the people who died in mm -hmm. the war of 1971 uh, for those people is uh, is uh, created for them okay so we got murder uh, not murder, uh, they work for our country, uh, they bled for our country. Okay. That's why we always remember uh, in our heart, okay. in core of our heart. Okay. That's why it's created. Do you know how many people died? Uh, uh, five, three, six lakhs. What is lakhs? More, more, more than... There is something you need to know about India, Nepal, Bangladesh. They talk with different numbers that we don't know. They say lakhs. So what is lakhs? Uh, yeah. What is five, uh, six lakhs? After thousand, we call it lakhs, right? Okay, so one thousand is one lakh? No, after thousand, uh, one hundred thousand. One hundred thousand? One, one, yeah, one hundred thousand is one lakhs. Okay, so one lakhs, one hundred thousand. And how many you said? Here? Uh, five or five, six more than. Okay, so about five, six hundred thousand people. Okay, so my guide is very bad and he said a mistake actually, it's not five, six lakhs. How many is it's it? It's 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs, okay. Enjoying? What you say, yeah. okay. Member of the Bangla Judo Federation. Mm -hmm. yes. EC Committee, Executive yeah. Committee. Yeah. All these are grave, okay? Graves are uh, the square ones. All the square ones, because a lot of people was killed here uh -huh. and uh, they just uh, uh, for those uh, remember yes and it is uh, and buried and do not properly buried just dig the uh, dig on the floor, on the floor and, and just put them there, there. and the, for their uh, memory uh, all the unknown person graveyard all this thing okay you can uh, 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 it's yes yes there. i know so graveyard for unknown as she said there's a lot of kind of square everywhere which is holes where they just put the people, unnamed people. And so it is writing. Just over there. Okay. Yeah, it's everywhere around. So yeah, result of wars and battles, you know, not glorious thing. So this used to be East Pakistan. 
Yeah, East Pakistan. Yeah. And after that, we uh, in 1971 we started our liberation war, uh -huh. and we become freedom. Urdu was the, Only the uh, national language, right? Okay. After that, but we want the Bengali is the language, language, the national language. Both. So we both. So we mm -hmm. were for the, our language also. Okay, I didn't know Urdu. Urdu, Urdu me uh, Hindi, similar Hindi? Like of Hindi. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was in 1952. Yeah. From there, uh, Bengalis thought that no, we uh, we don't really want to stay with them. Yes. We want to become we want a our independent independent country. Okay. After that, 1971, finally, 16 December, we become free. Free. Okay. Nice. Yes, I will not make. Over there, over there, over there. We make line. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up, just like this. The other side, the other side, the other side. Wrong side. Yes, good side. Okay, so like I said, today I will not make a video. Just to show you a little bit. Then I see you tomorrow in Dhaka. But another nice place to have judo here. By the way, there's my name over there. I'm with Akib that's been with me for since i'm arrived here today we are in the parliament area and we're going to visit some other places in dhaka so dhaka bangladesh this is the capital so what is this place exactly so here you see this is a uh, place show, show the house so, uh, so this is the house of there. national parliament of bangladesh okay uh, so it is the most significant uh, buildings of our country at 20th century. Okay. Uh, so all the uh, here uh, 350 members, 350 members of this parliament, uh, with all of uh, have also with including our honourable prime ministers. Okay. Uh, so 300 seats for male and 50 seats for uh, women, right? Okay. Female. So we're going back. What's next place? Yep, Diamond uh, Devotees at uh, our nation's father house. Okay. To see. And what's your name, sir? Babul. Babul. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go. You go first. Oops. Thank you, Babul. So. Uh, what is your role? Are you working for the Judo Federation of Bangladesh? Yeah, I am working for the Judo Federation. I am the assistant coach of Judo Federation and I am also a student of Jagannath University. Uh -huh. It's called Public University, right? Okay, so let's go to the next place. What you didn't say? Okay, so the thing is, Bangladesh, as you know, is a Muslim country, a little bit uh, conservative. You can see some women wearing like um, hijabs and stuff like this, though you will not feel any pressure on this country, like it's very peaceful. Uh, but something special about this place is it would be the place where like couples and people like this would come, you know, in order to be able to to flirt and to get to know each other so that is don't want to talk about that that is the thing we don't talk about that so maybe i will talk but without the camera to breathe in dhaka because the rest of the city is like very crowded it's one yeah, of the yeah, most yeah, crowded yeah. city in the world yep. actually dhaka yep. and you can still somehow escape yep. from that reality that, that is hard right yes yep. it's hard so you can still Come, enjoy, have some sit, coffee, tea. No, coffee, no tea. coffee, right? Uh, no, no coffee. I also have coffee. Yeah? I mean, yes, you have coffee in, uh, in Bangladesh, but not only in Bangladesh, like India and Nepal. It's not really the culture. Where are we going? Uh, so way? here we're walking the side uh, at the lake. So you can see the beautiful of this place. Yes. So we are walking. So most of the people, uh, who wants uh, spend some 
uh, what can I say? Expensive quality time. Quality time, right? Yes. Uh, for them, for their soul, right? Yeah. Um, uh, so they can come here. They come here and they work, they jogging, right. they do exercise. So that's it. So don't worry, you don't need to talk non-stop. If you don't know what to say, it's okay. I will cut. Okay, no worries. He's a very, very good vlogger. You see, he's yeah. always trying to make conversation. So, so that's how it is. That's what we do. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Very good, mate. Let's go that way. So you saw I'm trying to be like discreet, but you saw that lady that was selling flowers. The thing is, here is a lot of young people walking around and you could see the last one, like kind of young couple and the lady is selling flowers for them so still even it's a country where you would maybe not expect that still young people have normal life like anywhere in the world so it's really nice to see And I'm with Farzana that is just over there and so she's the one that I was communicating with uh, from the beginning so that help to make that contact between the Bangladesh Judo Federation and me possible so thank you very much Yeah, that's my pleasure, it's a great pleasure to have you with us Thank you very much And of course I'm looking forward for more visit of yours I hope so We'll make more plans yes. which will be more effective for you for judo, for us <laughs> yes, we all hope. Going to south of Bangladesh could be very interesting. Like, interesting facts for you that don't know Bangladesh. South of the country, there is the longest beach of the world. So, yeah. apart from judo, that's also something nice that we can see. So, right now, where are we going? We are going to Jagannath University. Okay. That's another world, the University of Dhaka. Okay, good. And tomorrow I will teach there, right? Yeah. Okay, so we were at the university, the University of Hakim, and we're basically just trying to talk about judo, why they should invest in judo, why they should help to put some um, <clears throat> dojos and stuff like this, not even dojo, just mat, <clears throat> and then helping like getting funding for one, two, three athletes maybe, and also talking to the students. So we'll see how it goes if it works or not, but right now we're in a different place which is named... Ahsan Monjil Okay, I will try to find an internet but <laughs> this is... this one Pink Palace Yeah I never know how to say in English and we have beautiful dress over there Yeah I'm never, I'm a little bit shy all the time to take video of people What happened to that building? There is oh like... my god! <laughs> Half of it is gone <laughs> But yeah, look at that beauty. Yes, yes, yes. So, what is the story of this place? Do you know? Google says. Yeah. Where is that kid? She didn't know what was the story of this place. Do you know what is the story of this place? What? What? What is the story? Yesterday, your video. Then I am telling you. About. Yeah, yeah. You tell, you tell everything from this. First day you stop your video. Yeah. By the way, I couldn't film inside because it's prohibited, but yeah, you can see the pink place like in Jaipur, uh, India. We can see the heritage kind of of the British ex-colonies. And yeah, it's a mix, mix of culture. Interesting to see. And this pink is very interesting, I think. All right, so I see you next time in Thailand. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment. And if you need contact, if you want to go in Bangladesh, we have lovely people. We need to take a picture. Lovely people waiting for you. So until next time, see you.